Good Thursday morning. Glad to be together today. And now we come to a very uh, uh, controversial passage. It shouldn't be, but it is. Listen to what Simon Peter writes in 1 Peter chapter 3. In the same way, now that's a significant uh, phrase right there. You wives, be submissive to your own husbands, so that even if any of them are disobedient to the word, they may be won without a word by the behavior of their wives. Wives, as they observe your chaste and respectful behavior, your adornment must not be merely external, braiding the hair, wearing gold jewelry, putting on dresses, he says. Uh, that's all a part of it. But he said, let, your hidden, let the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable quality of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is precious in the sight of God. He said, you know, in the former times, that's how women swayed men. Well, People today say, well, that's, this is outdated. Let me tell you something. The will of God is never outdated. The commands of Scripture are never outdated. So we may not understand Scripture, but we need to understand what to do about it. So he's talking about wives. In the first century, wives had no standing whatsoever. And the Christian uh, faith and the Christian practice and doctrine in the Christian church lifted women far above what Roman women were experiencing or even Jewish women were experiencing. But he says, wives in the same way. What in the same way? As unto the Lord, right? With a gentle and quiet spirit because it's like Jesus. And he's saying, you know, all of us have to submit to human institutions. And in marriage, it's paramount that a wife does this. Is a husband always right? No, not even good. A lot of husbands aren't even good. But he says, what you do to win them over is live with a gentle and quiet spirit. He says, your behavior counts for everything as they observe your chaste and respectful behavior. You know, we can't control anybody else. And in a marriage, if you're a wife, you can't control what your husband is going to think or how he's going to act and whatever, but you can control your response and how you live. A chaste behavior, of course, is one that's combined with respectful, that shows respect for a husband and, and you're not uh, going to treat anybody like you're being treated. Oftentimes in conflict, that's what happens. Somebody is mistreating somebody and then they fire back and pretty soon you can't, you can't live with that anymore. It's not being a doormat. It's willingly submitting to your husband and submitting to your husband to protect you, to provide for you, to love you, and to do the things. Because husbands also have a responsibility in leadership. That is to provide for their wife and protect their wife and make sure... Your wife, if you're a husband, becomes the woman God wants her to be. But we all submit, wives, husbands, everybody else. Let's do it the right way with the right spirit, and we'll always get the right results. Heavenly Father, thank you that you have taught us and we understand what the right way is to live in relationships. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.